think I fight because it's what I was, I think it's what I was born to do. It's like, it's always been in me. I've always, I've always wanted to be a fighter. I think, I can remember when I was young, when, I, when it was Halloween, I was dressed up as a ninja. I can remember watching Bruce Lee movies. And I always kind of wanted to be the best fighter like in the world. I always wanted to be a great fighter. I don't really like to do anything else besides working out or either wrestling or jiu-jitsu or anything that involves fighting. I don't, I don't really, uh, that's, the, that's the main focus. I don't really like to do anything, anything else. Going into a fight, that's my, that's my motivation, finishing the first round, finishing as, as quick as possible, taking care of business and getting out there and collecting my money. I don't think I ever wanted to be an average person. I always wanted to do something unique and be someone special. So I, I fear being average. Joe Settle's gonna win the whole thing. And everybody's gonna be impressed on how he wins this this uh, this tournament. Um, I'm impressed with the as the little time as I've been working with him on how fast he learns, how fast he picks things up. Nobody's gonna even notice him until he wins the whole thing. I'm the youngest, so I'm always stuck in being the little baby of the family. I had three older brothers, so that kind of that, I was I was always fighting in the house, and they used to make me fight against kids in the, around the neighborhood too. But I used to always get beat up when I was younger. Well, I think around third grade, I started winning some fights. <laughs> uh, when me and my buddy went to the fights in our hometown, and we were just like, we really wanted to do it. We said, when we're 18, we're going to do it. When we're 18, we're going to do it. And, uh, when I was 18, I actually did it. During the summer, uh, I, my, my, my buddy got me a fight, and I went in, and I won that one in two minutes and 30 seconds, ground a pound. So that was my first sanction fight. I told my parents I wanted to be a professional MMA fighter. Uh, my dad was really cool with it. He was uh, really. He thought I could, he thinks I could do it, you know. He, he thought I could do it. He was uh, really pumped about that idea. My mom, on the other hand, wasn't really too thrilled about it. She still thinks of me as her little baby. So, yeah, my mom watches my fight. She's uh, she's usually the one screaming the loudest in the whole event. Sometimes you can hear her on the videos. Yeah, my inspiration is my father. He just uh, he's always there for me. He's done so much for me, sacrificed so much for me, so I could I could try to achieve some of the, some of my goals. He's always been there on my side and. They're always talking through stuff, and I just—he's a good example as a, as a dad and as a as a man. Fighting out of Tijuana, Mexico, and I have to say, for Jair Reyes, at the beginning of this tournament, if you were going to seed these guys one through five since 2006, and now he is all systems go. Na Maca, California, Mexico. Janta Rosa, California. Come out, ready to fight. Well, you can't discount the striking of Yair Reyes or the, you know, the ground game. I mean, most of his wins, eight of them coming by submission, and he knows over Max here in the early going. Huge right hands for Joe Soto. Now he's connected with the left, and, and Yair Reyes defending himself, but he's the way just flailing ball. those arms as Joe Soto continues to strike away. But Gosadia Reyes looks as though he will make it out of the first round. We've got second round action when we return. Clearly Soto just dominating that round and going to get another beautiful takedown and those cuts so the guys can get to this position and actually fight to win and control their own destiny. He's yelling, he's saying, you got to move. Got Jaya Reyes's back. Could this thing end with a submission? I think it's going to. That's a deep arm. It's all over. There is the tap from Jaya Reyes. Get the wrap ready. Joe Soto is the Bellator featherweight champion of the world. A dominating performance from the opening bell, the touch of the gloves. All Joe Soto, the first world title for the Californian. And this one, Jason, a no doubter from the beginning. Joe Soto. So there is the belt around Joe Soto's waist, and rightfully so. Like that. Like that.